Ecclesiastes 3, 4 says there's a time to mourn and a time to dance. There's a reason why he says dance instead of rejoice. Because it's just the opposite. There's a time to mourn. You, you know, we all know how to mourn. <laughs> right? Something bad's happened. We cry. We weep. Some of us just sit there in depression. We mourn. So there's a time to mourn and a time to dance. The reason why he says dance is because dance and rejoicing are synonymous. Don't tell me you're rejoicing and you're just standing still because you're lying to me. You want to know how I'm rejoicing? Yeah! Hallelujah! Like Brother Phil Rodriguez used to do. He used to, hallelujah! Right? Brother James, woo! Run up the wall. There's a time to mourn and there's a time to dance. The reason is, is because dancing shows the celebration of joy. That's why Psalms 149 and 150 say praise him in a dance. It's not a suggestion, folks. It's a commandment. And that's why it's double on the very last two Psalms. Praise him in a dance. There's a reason for it. The Jewish people knew it from the beginning. They knew that dancing was some strong language. And they had presentation dance. Maybe they had, during their feast they would show a dance that showed the, how Moses came through the Red Sea with the Israelites. And then they had their participation dance. And everybody, all three million or however many it was at that time, they all had to dance. It was not an option. That's why the uh, men of Israel were told, when you go out to see the women of Shiloh in the book of Judges, you need to get one for your wife. Each one of you get one. Just one, folks. But don't get the ones that are just sitting there. You only get the ones that are dancing. And there's a reason for that. Because it's strong in the biblical Jewish culture. And they saw it when the woman came out to perform her dance, however she was doing it, they'd run and grab her and take her back. The reason was, if she didn't dance, she wouldn't fit in the Jewish custom that showed that God is one and there is nothing greater. She wouldn't show forth the joy of salvation. She would just sit there and mess the whole thing up. A couple denominations were checking this out. Wow, these Jews dance for everything. They even dance with bottles on their head. They dance, 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 and they're all in a circle. And they, however they do it, woo, they do this twirls and stuff. And they're dancing still to today. And the reason was because dancing was synonymous with salvation. Hello. Because if you didn't dance, it meant one of two things. You're either losing your faith or you've lost it. That's why he says praise him in a dance. It's not an option. It shows everybody else in God that you are saved and that you have the joy of your salvation and the joy of the Lord is your strength. That's what it means. They were checking them out and they're saying, wow, these Jews are so serious about it. It's almost like they have this, it's like this unspoken law that if you don't dance, you might as well be hellbound. Like I told Brother Victor Serrano, I said, wow, when I first read that, I was like, whoa, that's a little bit too strong. Yeah, I, I, yeah they're crossing the line on that one. Started to think about it. It's true. Because what happens when a backslider backslides? They go from doing this, hallelujah, in the front seat, to all of a sudden, halfway in the church, oh, hallelujah, man, things are going bad. I don't even know if I'm saved anymore. To the very back. Well, and then all of a sudden, they don't even show up. It's true, folks. They understood it back then. And we got to understand it today. Is that we are to be praised. We are praised unto God. And if we're really saved, and we really got the joy of the Lord, and we really got God in us, it should show forth every time that we get together, no matter where it is, that when we begin to praise, that we're alive. That we're not dead. We're not the first church of the frigid air. Ice Cube, he's out in the world. We don't need no ice cubes in the church. The Lord said, we need fire in the church. 
We need coals of hot fire. That's what he says. My people are a brand of hot fire. Life and power. Let's all stand. We're all, I'm almost done. I'm going to end with this as the musicians can come up. Praise unleashes God's power. And I, I want to leave this on a positive note because I don't want no slow music. We don't want no slow music up here because we already prayed for deliverance. Amen? Amen. Now you want to follow through with it? You got to start to, we praise. Unleash the praise. Praise unleashes God's power. Second Chronicles 20, 22. As they began to sing in praise. Now listen to this. Jehoshaphat is being attacked. Right? And he's got three armies. Moab and Mount Seir. They're attacking him from three different angles. And boy, they got it together. He knows they're going to get wiped out. So he's a smart king. What does he do? He says, we all need to pray and praise God. Let's do it right now. No, he didn't say, go and get the, that brand new sniper rifle they got. That M200 that shoots farther than a 50 cal. Hurry up, get about 10 of those. He didn't say that. He didn't say, throw some grenades. He didn't say, get the catapults with flaming balls ready. No, he said, we need to pray and praise. And so they start praising God. And look what happens. As they began to sing and praise, the Lord said ambushes against the men at Annan. You know what? This is cool. You know why this is cool? Because it said, they, as soon as they started, God in heaven. They didn't even, brother Eliasar, they didn't even get to start finishing their praise. And God already set the ambush. You see, God is not like us where we wait a few songs. God comes right now. You know how we do it? We try to say, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll wait. Yeah, no, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, wait. No, 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 no. How can we expect the God to come right now? We got a hardship when we won't come right now. When we won't come to him and give him the praise right now. It says, as soon as they begin to praise. So what does that mean? You that have the Holy Ghost, as soon as you call his name, he comes in like a flood and he performs the miracle. As soon as you shout. The Bible says, as soon as they praised, he sent an ambush and wiped them out. They got confused. Something was killing them. They got confused. They didn't know what was killing them. And then they started killing each other. And everybody sat there and watched. <laughs> Woo. We all need to learn how to praise and watch. And after they were done, Jehoshaphat opened up the gates. And they all went out. And every single enemy was dead. The Bible says not one of them got away. And so he goes, hey, bring the crew. We got a whole lot of spoils here. Look what their praise yielded up. They were getting gold and silver and weapons and fine apparel. It took them three days to get it, Brother James. And they still couldn't get it all because the Bible says it was too much. All you and I got to do is start to praise God. Praise God. And the blood start coming in. First day, second day, third day. So much, you won't be able to contain it. The devil don't want you to know this, but God's telling you, if you come right now and you give the praise, you will be blessed. You will be delivered. Every one of your needs will be met. Thus saith the Lord.